Educational Philosophy of Swami Vivekanand The present lecture has been prepared by Dr. Shoking Bilal. Let us first try to understand let us first try to understand his real name was Narendranath Datta. He was born on January 12, 1863 in Shimla Pali, Calcutta. His father's name was Vishwanath Datta and his mother's name Bhuvaneshwari Devi. Narendranath acquired the name of Swami Vivekanand when he became a monk. In 1880, Narendra entered the Scottish Church College, Calcutta and studied philosophy. During the course, he studied western logic, western philosophy and history of European nations. Questions started to arise in young Narendra's mind about God and the presence of God. The famous Vedanta moment was lied by Swami Vivekanand. He introduced the Indian philosophy of Hinduism in the western countries. In 1893, he attended the World Parliament of Religions at Chicago, USA to represent Hinduism. In 1897, he formed the Ramakrishna Mission to carry out charity work for spiritual welfare. He wrote the book Songs of the Sanyasin. He also set up the journal Prabuddha Bharat. It was unfortunate for Indian that he died early at the age of 39 on the 4th of July 1902. Indian government has decided to observe Swami Vivekananda date of birth as National Youth Day. National Youth Day of India is celebrated each year on the 12th of January since 1985. Educational philosophy Swami Vivekananda said education is the manifestation of the divine perfection already within man being a vedantist swami ji advocates that atman dwells within everyone to realize the self the perfection of god in man is the goal of true education he was of the opinion that book learning is not education he considered education as the training by which the current and expression of will are brought under control and become beautiful education is spontaneous and positive to vivekanand education is life building assimilation of ideas he says if you have assimilated five ideas and made them as your character you have more education than any man who has got by heart the whole library if education were identical with information the libraries would be the greatest sages in the world and encyclopedias the greatest rishis swami ji was of the opinion that education must suit the needs of the child He says their needs should be determined in terms of tendencies inherent in children and not according to what the parents of the children think. Swami ji does not accept information as education. He advocates a type of education which is man making, life building and character formation. Man making education includes physical and health education. He was also greatly concerned about the proper care of the body and the healthy development of one's physique. He urged be strong my young friends that is my advice to you. You will be nearer to heaven through football than through the Gita. These are bold words but I have to say them to you. I know where the shoe pinches. You will understand the Gita better, your biceps, your muscles a little stronger. He emphasized repeatedly, strength is goodness, weakness is sin. Aims of education the ultimate aim of all education and all training according to Swami Vivekanand is man making and also he recommends the following major aims of education. creation of self confidence and self realization man has an immortal soul which is the treasure house of infinite power man should therefore have full confidence in himself and strive to reach the highest goal of his life self confidence leads to self realization in swami ji's own words faith in us and faith in god this is the secret of greatness formation of character we are what our thoughts have made us it is therefore that education should aim at sublimating the evil tendencies of our mind Swami ji said we want that education by which character is formed strength of mind is increased intellect is expanded and by which one can stand on one's own feet development of personality personality is the influence the impression one creates on the others it is the personality of a man that counts according to vivekanand personality is two third and his intellect and words are only one third in making the real man service of mind another important aim of education is serving the god in man It is the god in the sick the poor the miserable the ignorant and the downtrodden what we should worship in swami ji's own words if you want to find god serve man promotion of universal brotherhood swami vivekananda's love for mankind knew no geographical boundaries he said through education we should gradually reach the idea of universal brotherhood by flinging down the walls of separation and inequality aim of physical and mental development stressing the physical and mental development of the child Swami ji wished education to enable the child to stand on his own legs economically rather than becoming a parasite of on others aim of moral and spiritual development according to swami vivekanand a nation's greatness is not only measured by its parliamentary institutions and activities but also by the greatness of its citizens 
but the greatness of citizens is possible only through their moral and spiritual development which education should foster. Aim of religious development, to Swamiji, each individual should be able to search out and develop the religious seed embedded in him and thus find the absolute truth or reality. The capacities of obedience, social service and submission to the teachings and preachings of great saints and saviors will develop in the individual. Education should foster this development. Role of teacher Vivekanand advocates that the nature of human mind is such that, no one ever really is taught by another. Each of us has to be teacher himself. Within man is all knowledge and it requires only an awakening and that much is the work of the teacher. He said, like fire in a piece of flint, knowledge exists in the mind, suggestion is the friction which brings it out. He wants that a teacher should be like a father, who will give the students their spiritual birth and show them the way to eternal life. To quote Swamiji, true teacher is he who can immediately come down to the level of the students and transfer his soul to the student's soul. Swamiji advocates that the teacher should possess the following qualities. A teacher must be a tyagi or a man of renunciation. He should act like a substitute of the parents for the students. He should have personal love for the students, which will help him to transmit spiritual force. He should come down to the level of the students and should have sympathy for his students. He should have very high character and should be sinless. He must be pure in mind and heart. Thank you don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Education and Teacher Education.